All right, we are now at July 7th. Um, well, today is Friday, so you have a couple days to figure it out. I wish I could help, but I am in Illinois for the next few days. You should have plenty of time to get there, right? I typed, I will be stuck having a panic attack until I know I am not screwed. On top of the panic attack, I am having non-stop. I hate this. Here's a note to mention. When you have zero dollars and you have somewhere to be in four days and you have no money coming in in those days, yeah, you're pretty fucking screwed. It was costing me a lot of money to go to my appointments to see Nicole Peralta for her not to do anything. Now, the lady who was doing something, who was being productive, who was actually helping, her name is Tamara. But she quit her job because her son's autistic. He's got Asperger's, like me. And uh, after hearing what I'd gone through, she quit her job to make sure that her son was ready for the world. To make sure that he was prepared instead of getting dropped off at 18. To make sure that if anything happened to her, that he, uh, he wouldn't end up homeless and fucked. Anyway, Joanna type, but you're not screwed. You have four days to get there, so you were able to stop having the panic attack on top of the panic attack. No, that's not how it works. Anyway, she typed, do you have a car? I typed, it doesn't work that way. She typed, why? You can make it th work that way. I typed, it doesn't work that way either. It's a scientifically proven that it does work that way. I typed, first, it would take a lot of explanation. Second, that explanation contains actual scientific studies. Magic is not science. Wishing doesn't work and texting makes it worse. She typed, Sean, it's not magic. It's scientifically proven that when we... Then what we think is what we get. Really? Well, I am thinking about Natalie sitting here next to me. Nope, no Natalie. There's no Natalie sitting next to me. So, how is her scientific mumbo-jumbo not fucking magic? <sighs> like, Jesus, goddamn Christ. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, gee, it would be nice if Natalie was here next to me to explain to you guys what a fucking clusterfuck this goddamn bullshit was. But nope, even though I'm thinking about it, it's not happening. Anyway, if you think I'm fucked, then you're fucked if you think I am an awesome intelligent human being who has always figured out how to make this happen in the past and I will do it again, then that is exactly what you get. The fact that you think it's magic is possibly the reason why you don't try it. Alright, fucking stupid fucking moronic cunt. I'm gonna explain something to you, Jojo. The fact is, I was trying to get fucking help, and you were being a fucking idiot. <sighs> don't try it? No, I've been trying it, you fucking moron. So stop typing ignorant fucking pretty blonde girl bullshit at me. Jesus fucking goddamn Christ. Anyway, she typed, it's not just say those things, it's actually believe them. Really? So if I believe hard enough, then Natalie will magically not be incinerated and come back here and be fine and dandy with the world, and her dad will be in prison for the things that he did, and her sister will be in prison for the things that she did because I think hard enough about it. Is that really how it's going to work? No. By the way, if her sister would come forward and tell the fucking truth, I wouldn't want her in prison. I typed, Jesus, this is exactly my point. She typed, and it's not fucking easy. It's one of the hardest things some people do in their lives. But it works, and that is a fact. Jesus fucking Christ. See, people want to spout ignorance and say, it's the truth. It's the truth. If I say there's fairies in my bathroom, there's fairies in my bathroom. That's right. Maybe if you paint them on the wall, but that's effort. That's not just thinking about it. That's actually putting forth some fucking effort, you idiot. Jesus Christ, Jojo. Anyway, but it takes... But it works, and that is a fact. 1% of our life is chosen for us. 99% is what we make it out to be. No, that is not true. 
If you're punched in the face, you are punched in the face. Telling myself, oh, he was just giving me a love tap. No, that's not a fucking fact. The fact is the motherfucker punched me in the face. Anyway, but that 1% varies so drastically. That 1% determines where we were born and who our parents are. As you know, that can have a huge effect on the rest of our lives if we let it. It's not just if we let it. <laughs> Donald fucking Trump was born a spoiled rich bitch. I was born to a family of fucking druggies. That has a huge fucking impact. While Joanna Taylor Smith had a shit ton of fucking help, I'm having fucking serious issues just getting to where I need to fucking go for my goddamn therapy appointments. Therapy appointments that were supposed to help me to be able to defend myself against these people who are threatening my life. I typed to her, stop typing. At this point, she had been fucking typing not just here, but also on the telephone for a while. Just fucking typing, and I had been begging her to stop typing and actually fucking listen. But no, she's got this ignorant goddamn bullshit in her head, this fucking fairy tale bullshit that only stupid blonde girls believe. Why? Because it's true for these ignorant goddamn blonde girls. It's true, if you're a pretty blonde girl, and you have shitty self-esteem and you think everybody's out to get you, then that's in your fucking head. If you're a pretty blonde girl, and you revel in the attention, and people love you, yes, that's all in your fucking head, because in reality, they just want to fuck you because you're a pretty blonde girl. Like Natalie's boss, who fired her for not having sex with him. Anyway, it says, I'm not meaning to overwhelm you, just help. But it seems you won't really let me help. Bitch, stop fucking typing and fucking listen! Stop typing, fucking call, and fucking listen! Stop going out of your way to fucking destroy everything that I'm trying to explain to you and be fucking dismissive because you don't want to fucking understand because you want to fucking take everything I type completely out of the way that I'm trying to explain it to you. How about stop fucking typing and fucking listen, you stupid cunt? Jesus goddamn Christ. Much in the ways I know how. Talking over somebody isn't fucking help. It's not. When somebody has an issue and they're trying to tell you about it, talking over them is not fucking help. It's dismissive as fuck. It shows that you're not listening. You're just trying to speak. You're trying to put your pretty fucking blonde girl words in there. Shut the fuck up, Jojo. Just promise me we'll keep pushing and strive because our world is pretty well fucked without the amazing things inside your mind coming to reality. Yes, I'm aware of this. I am aware of this, Jojo. I collected those tools for a reason. For them to get stolen repeated like by people like Amanda Payne and Andrew Witcher and many others, including the Boulder Police Department and many of my friends who fucking stole that shit under false pretenses. And she typed, so stay alive. Bitch, your fucking bullshit is part of what was pushing me to fucking kill myself. I typed, seriously, stop typing. You haven't heard a word I have to say, and you are going off on me. Typing does not fucking work. She typed, I'm not going off in the slightest. I am reading everything you are saying and responding the only way I know how. Stop typing! Stop typing and fucking call me and fucking listen! She typed, but I will stop now. I hope you read what I said and take it to heart. Bitch, shut the fuck up! She typed, you are a genius and we need you. Much love and I hope you make it out there. You know what? If she really believed that, maybe she would have fucking done something like actually fucking listen. 
I typed, I need to talk to a human being. I typed two fucking words a minute. Stop typing and call me or just stop typing. She typed, much love and light to you, Sean. Fuck you! That does nothing. Those are pretty fucking words. It's not a solution to a goddamn thing. She typed, can't call right now, and you asked me to stop, so that's exactly what I did. So I gave her a thumbs up. She typed, we love you, Sean, no matter what, you are family. Then I missed a call from her. Thank goodness she called. I typed, sorry I missed your call. She typed, you all, you're all good. I'm sorry I have not called again. We are working hard and are about to be in an awesome position so we can actually give you the assistance you need to do the amazing things you want. Well, this ended up being just complete fucking bullshit. She typed, I know it's hard to believe, so I have stopped talking about it to people and just waited until I have actually money and things to show for it. We love you, Sean. As I said, you are more than a friend. You are family, and we are so close to making sure our family is set. Don't call me fucking family, Jojo. Don't fucking do it. You could have actually made some actual fucking effort. I needed this shit to stop. Now, you guys noticed that when I was typing with Alicia, and when I was typing with Maddie, and when I was typing with, uh... Natalie, I was explaining to them I was getting treated like a rapist. Now, why didn't I explain this to Joanna? Because I didn't need that fucking rumor spreading further and people dropping me off for explaining it to them. I needed actual fucking help. I typed, I needed friends in real life. I don't have any of those. I travel to see people who don't hear me and refuse to listen. That's not friendship. It's a waste of resources that aren't mine to begin with. I need a friend in person who gives a shit in person, comes to see me in person, talks to me in person, and I have zero of those. Zero. At this point, I'd already tried talking to Peer, who promised that he would show up and didn't. And I tried talking to Ryan, who was going to show up and didn't. And I tried talking to JoJo, but instead of getting to talk to JoJo, I got to listen to fucking Derek streaming at me for three goddamn days. I tried talking to Janine, but Janine wanted to talk over me the whole fucking time. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's not share story sharing time. I'm trying to tell you what's going on so you're aware of what's going on so that you can help. But no, you aren't listening to me because you're busy talking over me. Anyway, she typed, we will talk in person soon. Are you in Boulder? I typed, Denver. I typed, my car is broken. I have no money to fix it. I need to be in Nebraska by the 1st, then back to Denver by next Friday, then back to Nebraska by the 8th. And if I don't, I get no help. The help I need, they can't provide it. If I don't go, it fucks me. She typed, how much money do you need? I typed, no idea. I don't even have gas. 80 for gas, no idea for my steering column. Now that steering column issue, that was an issue that came with the car. David and Laura Nelson knew that that problem existed, and that's on one of the phones that fucking got stolen. And that's the thing, is that those phones, I spent two fucking years trying to get someone to look at that shit. Two years collecting fucking evidence. Two years through all of this fucking bullshit. Two years since Natalie's death. Two years of alcoholics. Two years of fucking meth heads. Two years of being in environments where people are fucking streaming. Two years of people saying, well, you can't make phone calls during the day because of this. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, she typed, try and figure out how much it is to replace or fix. We might be able to help you. I typed, KK, I need to find a ride to Nebraska and fast, like yesterday fast. No luck finding a ride. Haven't torn into my steering wheel yet. And that's the thing. I got a fucked up back. Getting under there to even fucking try to fix it is a pain in the ass. I didn't know exactly where the issue was. I had to call David Nelson to find out. And I didn't even get to do that until well after Natalie was fucking dead. She typed, I will see what I can do. Sending you love, man. I typed, a new steering rack will cost $140. That's the knockoff brand. Scrapyards here. 
either don't have them or, or want too much. Only only found one used. They want $120, plus I have to remove it myself. It's a long walk. It's in Boulder. She typed, I have some things to take care of today. Where to you? I typed Inglewood, way south Denver. She typed, I will have the funds in a few weeks. I am waiting for a few things to progress. I know words don't mean much to you, but I hope you are able to get there tomorrow. If not, we can figure out, give how to get you assistance. Love you, man. I typed, I am so screwed. It's not your fault I am freaking. I hope you know that. There is road construction on the street. My car is parked on. I need to move it before it gets towed. No ride. Everyone is gone or broke. Now, I finally need to get it moved, and that's because the people that I was staying with, well, not the people, Ken, in specific, helped me to move it over to David and Bo's. She typed, we love you, Sean. You are all good. We can help after 6 o'clock. Then she called me. I called her. I missed a call from her. <sighs> Fucking phone tag. See, now that's the thing, is that this phone call right here, and this phone call right here, they connected for like half a fucking second. It was a pain in the ass. She typed, hey, so we're coming out there tonight. Just send us the address. <laughs> she typed, call us when you get a chance. I'm so sorry we have been running around all day. We can still drive you tonight. I type hi. I fell asleep. Is it too late? I called her. We did talk for a minute. 